what are the frequencies that are being trained and stimulated? And so again, I'm going to just pull up this um, um, this document with with some screenshots and um, share screen. There it is. Sorry, and. So what I, I wanted to point out, and, and I'm sure many of you have seen this before, but we'll go into a bit more detail. Um, we, we've gamified the, the app and we've gamified the app partly because of the behavior change required. Um, we're going to be improving and adding on to the gamification aspects. Um, but right now the fundamentals are in place. And part of the fundamentals is that we reward uh, based on these minerals, transcendium, resilium, and cognizium. And then this is this information, if you haven't seen it, is found on the profile tab. And then we describe what each of these minerals represents uh, with regards to the brainwave band frequencies. So beta, gamma, alpha, and theta. And those are all the ones that we train. So just to, uh, to go a little bit more into that, each of the programs, so this is on the boost tab, um, is tagged. And so they're tagged with these various minerals. And that gives you an indication of, you know, is it something that's going to pick me up, right? Like cognizium, right? Because it's above alpha, it's beta and gamma. Um, or is it something that's going to be more uh, slowing me down, right? The, tra the transcendium is, is in the theta, slower, more spacious waves. And, and then resilient being that alpha band, right? So that's very calm, sort of chill. So these are the various tags. Um, you know, the uh, the heart one I'm pointing at here is the resilium, the cognizium being that crown. And then we have this, um, uh, uh, I guess, infinite infinity loop uh, being the transcendium. And so I'll just give a little bit more color for, for this uh, more advanced group. So um, with uh, chill and prepare, they're both alpha, right? So they're both this resilium tag. And so in chill, what we're trying to uh, bring you bring you down a little bit and and relax you. We're looking at your peak alpha frequency or where within the alpha band you are resonating at that moment in time, and then we're kind of slowing you down a little bit from that. Whereas in prepare, we're doing the opposite. And so if you were to click on those and look at the descriptions, I think that'll make a lot more sense now. Where we within the alpha band, there's still more room to play with the algorithm, and and so that that's what we've done. Um, similarly, I'll just, um, elaborate a little bit on expand versus social, and these are both gamma, right? So these are both the cognizium tag. So expand is very much in the gamma band. Um, uh, and then social is the third harmonic of that. So in every case, what we do is because we're able to read with the electrodes, the brainwave sensors, and we're able to theoretically write, you know, um, uh, with the the lights, um, we are actually adapting what specific frequency that we are uh, stimulating uh, and using with the lights. And so that's very unique to Sensei because of the the hardware that we have. And so what you will see is that at the end of every session, we will share with you what frequency it was that we stimulated uh, your brain with. And we just find that for super users, they usually find that interesting. And um, and then similarly with the uh, the planets, which is all the train the train uh, programs. So these are all neurofeedback planets, except for Calm Heart, which is heart coherence biofeedback or HRV training. And so they're also tagged. So this one I've got clicked. Um, you can see it, clarity, and it's got the cognizium tag again. So again, we're looking at gamma. And when it's appropriate and relevant, um, we will also see a synchrony. So synchrony being that we're also training synchrony in our case between the front and the back of the brain. 